All I want to do is do, 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 and, uh, and say your money. All I want to do is do, 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 and say your money. So, oh, hello there. I'm just getting the kitchen ready for the next subscriber special cooking with Matt. Um, in the meantime, you guys got time for a quick quiz? The rules could not be simpler. I'm going to show you a word or a phrase. It's up to you to decide. Is that the name of a breakfast cereal? Or is that someone's school nickname I found an account of on Reddit? There's 32 and he's going to be coming at you quite fast. Keep score if you want to or not. That's cool, you know. But good luck. Stephen Bananas. I know a Stephen Bananas because he came to school with a banana two days on the bounce. We're mid-30s now and this is still his nickname and how he is known throughout the whole area. Mr. Waffles. That was a 1960s cereal in both regular and banana flavour, which adverts said were both unusual. Monkey nuts. His head looked like a testacle. Hybrid. Hybrid, or Prius One Kid, wore swim trunks to school and insisted that they were hybrids, and people teased him about it, but he got really upset, so it kind of just stuck. Bunny love. These were basically Cheerios, but some of them in the shape of rabbits. Their mascot was a rabbit named Bernie, whose catchphrase was, Be Hoppy. Spooner. He stuck a spoon up his butt. Count off. This was a Cold War cereal. Big box of oat numbers ranging 1 to 9, sponsored by the US Air Force. Ezekiel 4-9. This one's a cereal. Apologies if this is an obvious one. Apologies if any of these are obvious. As you can tell, I'm in the UK where our breakfast range isn't too diverse, but I've never heard of Ezekiel cereal. This, I understand, is based off this brand's range of bread, which is in turn based off this Bible passage. Take wheat and barley, beans and lentils, millet and spelt. Put them in a storage jar and use them to make bread for yourself. Eat the food as you would a barley cake. Bake it in the sight of the people. Using human excrement for fuel. PCP. Guy at my high school was nicknamed PCP, which stood for Pringle Can Penis. Greener. Because he was rumoured to have a green penis during our freshman year, but people still believe it and we're now freshman in college. Hoots. Chocolate Hoops brought to you by everyone's favourite breakfast mascot, Newton the Owl. Blump Schiltz. In junior high, there was this kid whose last name was Hiltz, middle initial S. We turned that into Schiltz for fun. Then one day he did a presentation in front of the class and mispronounced blimp twice in a row in the same sentence. They were in a blump. I mean a blump. I mean a blimp. And from that day forward, he was Blump Schiltz. Rabbit home. First name was Warren. Dirty balls. My grandfather nicknamed all of his grandsons after balls. There were hairy balls, little balls, and smelly balls. I was dirty balls. Half seas. Late 1970s cereal with a gimmick it had half the sugar of most cereals. Massively unpopular. Special Kate. A limited edition cereal to tastefully celebrate Kate Middleton's 2011 royal wedding. TikTok. Lad, when you called TikTok, he had one big hand and one small hand. Everest. I know a dude who was always bitching about Indian people, so I started calling him Everest because he's always throwing shade on India. Fingos. Now it's breakfast. Launch is the first cereal you eat with your fingers. Sales figures were abysmal. Particularly in Hungary, as Fingos is Hungarian for he farts a lot. Fudge butt. Not at our school, but in town, a guy everyone called Fudgebutt. He used to ride his bike around town while wearing a wetsuit. Larry Longlegs. His name was Stephen, but he was about 5 foot 11 in year 6. For my American listeners, that's 5th grade. Sir Grapefellow. A grape flavour cereal, which in some boxes had the prize of a 3 foot constructible balsa wood biplane. A massively destructive toy in any child's hand, but look, does it look like he gives a solitary fuck? Shredded Ralston. Yeah, it's basically shredded wheat. It didn't sell well as a mascot, rather than something like an anthropomorphic tiger was, and it's not even pictured on the box, just a really, really tired dad. Nodge. It's because his name is John, but he's dyslexic. Baby Shark. I've never heard of this, but apparently it's Kellogg's partnering up with a Korean kids song? I don't know. Anyway, it's a cereal. Rimbo. He, um, he gave a girl a rim job in a cornfield and got caught doing it. 
So, ridgems. Sort of like your ridge potato chips, crisps as I would say, but you put milk on these ones? Didn't do very well. Patches. He was terrible at shaving. Tootsie. True story, it was in a shared student house. My mate came into the room and his flatmate was playing on a computer using his feet. Moon shallow. And only because his older brother's name is Sun Deep. We're all almost 40 now and he still goes by Moon. Beep beep. Doesn't Roadrunner go meep meep? Anyway, apparently it's honey flavour. Red Rocket. I have red hair and my skin is a little more pinkish than most people's. One day, I ran like I had a mental problem, with my arms behind me and everything, in like middle school. The name stuck longer than I liked. And we must have an honourable mention for, no points for this one, but Frosties. Look what I fucking found here. It looks a bit like the kid in the, they're gonna taste great, Frosties advert. He then lost that nickname and gave the nickname Sofa, after he humped a sofa. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that inaugural game of Serial or Nickname, a game I literally made up a few hours ago whilst drunk. What would you like to play next? We could play Children's Book Character or Cocktail, Wrestling Move or Medical Complaint, Sex Positions or Titles of Nicolas Cage Films, or do let me know in the comments if you have any better ideas. Thank you and goodbye for now.